how to overclock the GPU on your Redmi K20 Pro or the Xiaomi Mi 90 Pro. Hey peeps, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can overclock the GPU on your Redmi K20 Pro or the Xiaomi Mi 90 Pro. As you can see, I do have the Redmi K20 Pro which is running MIUI 11.0.4.0 based on Android 10. Now what are the prerequisites for this video? Well, the prerequisites for this video are you need to have an unlocked bootloader and you need to have TWRP recovery installed. How do you do that? I have separate videos for both of those which are linked in the description of this video. Next thing, to overclock the GPU, we are going to have to flash a custom kernel. Let us first go into settings and about phone all the specs as you can see I am running the stock kernel right now and if I open FK kernel manager you will see that my GPU the maximum frequency right now is 585 megahertz so that is the maximum frequency we are going to overclock this is FK kernel manager necessary for this no you do not need to install FK kernel manager I'm using this just to show to you peeps that the GPU will in fact be overclocked. Now not all custom kernels support GPU overclocking. The kernels which I know let you overclock the GPU on the Redmi K20 Pro are mentioned in the pinned comment. Do note that all kernels do not support MIUI. Some of them only support AOSP based ROMs. So that is one research which you will have to do at your end. Next up is overclocking going to increase or decrease your battery backup well if you overclock the gpu and you play graphic intensive games you are going to lose on some battery life how much i do not know because battery life does depend on a lot of other factors as well which does include your surrounding temperature another piece of warning i am not responsible if overclocking causes any damage to your device you are doing this at your own risk next up we do need a custom kernel and we are going to use candy kernel for the purpose of this video which allows you to overclock the gpu on the redmi k20 pro to more than 800 megahertz so this here is the candy kernel file and the next thing we're going to do is boot our device into to up recovery for that the first thing we need to do is turn off our device and once the device has turned off we are going to press and hold volume up and power button at the same time till we see the to up recovery boot logo now once we have booted into TWRP recovery, the first thing we need to do is back up our stock kernel. So we'll go on backup, make sure that only boot is selected. If any other partition is selected, make sure you uncheck it. And once you've made sure that boot is the only partition which is selected, swipe to backup. Next thing, make sure you note down the path which is mentioned over here, the backup folder. This is where you have the backup of your current kernel in case you ever want to restore it. Next, click on the home button and then we'll go into install and now you need to navigate to the folder where you have downloaded the custom kernel zip file. In case you downloaded it on your phone directly, it will be in the download folder. In my case, I have transferred it manually. So it is in the root directory. Here is the file. All I need to do is select the file and then swipe to confirm flash. Now do note that this kernel zip file is capable of detecting whether my device is rooted or not and my device will still be rooted. As you can see, it did detect Magisk and it did patch the kernel for Magisk, which means my device will still be rooted. Next, click on the home button, go into wipe, advanced wipe and select Dalvik and cache and then swipe to wipe. Once that is done, all we need to do is select reboot system. Back into Android, we can unlock our device and go into settings, about phone, all specs, bam here it is candy kernel in the building and we can also open fk kernel manager and there it is the maximum frequency of the gpu is now set to 810 megahertz which means we have successfully overclocked the gpu on our redmi k20 pro another thing you will notice is that the current frequency which is the idle frequency right now has gone down a little bit so that will help us save some battery as for the performance improvement well here on screen are the benchmark scores do note that n22 has been removed from the play store so i had to use another application called 3d mark and as you can see 
there was a significant increase in the benchmark scores when we flashed the kernel which let us overclock the GPU on our Redmi K20 Pro. Now in case you ever want to go back to your stock kernel, all you need to do is boot back into TwoUp Recovery one more time and again turn your device off. Once the device has turned off, we're going to press and hold volume up and power button at the same time till you see the TwoUp Recovery boot logo. And once we have booted into TwoUp Recovery, we're going to restore. And as I mentioned earlier, you had to note down the folder. So this is the one for me. As you can see, boot was automatically selected. Swipe to restore. And this is going to restore the boot partition. Next up, click on the home button. Wipe, advanced wipe, Dalvik and cache. Swipe to wipe. Once that is done, click on reboot system. Back into Android, we will unlock our device. Go into settings, about phone all specs here it is we are back on the stock kernel we can also open fk kernel manager and there it is the maximum gpu frequency is back to 585 megahertz and the current frequency which right now is the idle frequency is 257 megahertz so there it is peeps that is how you overclock the gpu on your redmi k20 pro and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated Feedback and comment more than welcome. See you when I see you.